we have been talking about DevOps for a few years now. And one of the most popular terminologies which came in in the last couple of years is GitOps. How is GitOps different from DevOps? That's what we would be focusing on in this specific video. Let's get started with GitOps. GitOps focuses on a specific part of DevOps, which is continuous deployment. Continuous deployment focuses on deploying your software to an environment. It might be a dev environment, a QA environment, a staging environment, or a production environment. When we are talking about DevOps, what we would do is probably have all the things that are needed to deploy a specific software in version control, in Git repository, or any source control of your choice. In addition, you'll also have the scripts to generate the environment, to create the infrastructure that is needed for a specific environment in version control as well. However, DevOps is not really prescriptive about how you would run those scripts, when the pipeline is invoked, when the scripts would be run, how the scripts would be run. DevOps does not really care about them. However, when it comes to GitOps, there is explicit focus on declaring your desired state in a Git repository. Let's say you are having a Kubernetes cluster to which you are deploying several applications. And let's say you are using Helm charts or Kubernetes YAML files to deploy these applications. Maybe you are using Terraform scripts to create the infrastructure. So when it comes to GitOps, what you need to have is a Git repository where you have the desired state. What is your desired state? You need to put it in a GitHub repository. And the most important thing is that the way the desired state is taken and made into an actual state in production is through automation. As soon as a commit is made into the GitHub repository where your desired state is present, immediately some automation should kick in and make it the actual state in production. Now, you might be thinking, what are the advantages of doing that? Before we get there, let's talk about one very, very important rule related to GitOps. It is that you always make changes to the GitHub repository only. You will never make changes directly in your production environment. All changes to your production environment should be through commits to your GitHub repo only. There should not be a direct update to a production environment. Now, what are the advantages of doing this? What are the advantages of GitOps? One advantage is that because deployment is now simple, you deploy more often. You will make more releases to production. All that you need to do to do a deployment is to commit your configuration into a specific repository and it would automatically be deployed. So you would be inclined to deploy software more often. The second advantage is faster error recovery. If something went wrong with your production release, it is very, very easy to roll back. All that you'd need to do is to roll back to a previous commit in your GitHub repository, and immediately the actual environment also will be rolled back to a previous state. The third and the most important part is self-documenting deployments. In code, we have complete version control of whatever, whatever changes have been done to your code. But typically, we don't have that kind of versioning for our application deployment and for our infrastructure. If you're doing GitOps very, very well, then all the changes would be through commits to your GitHub repository. Whether it's changes to code, whether it's changes to configuration, whether it's changes to your infrastructure, everything goes through your GitHub repository. And with respect to configuration and with respect to infrastructure, you know that whenever you make a change, the change is immediately put on to the specific environment. And therefore, you have complete history in GitHub repository. Now, there are a lot of tools that can be used to implement GitOps. You can implement GitOps using Jenkins, or if you're playing with Kubernetes, you can go for Argo CD or Flux. GitOps is something which came in from the Kubernetes community, but it's not limited to Kubernetes alone. It's possible to understand GitOps and take the best practices of GitOps and implement them in non-Kubernetes projects as well. As far as I'm concerned, Infrastructure as Code was the first step towards automating the provisioning of infrastructure. And with GitOps, we are taking everything related to a production deployment, infrastructure and configuration to the next level. You are automating everything 
through commits to your GitHub repository. So your application configuration for a specific environment, your infrastructure as code deployment templates, all of them are in GitHub repository. And as soon as you make changes to them, they are deployed to the environment. I'm sure you're having a wonderful time and I'll see you again.